Hello, I'm Jessica. I'm a spiritual advisor and political scientist, and today I'm going to explain to you what that means because I get asked that a lot, and it's very confusing to people, which is very sad. It is very sad that the um, realm of morals, ethics, and we'll just say spirituality overall is completely absent from politics and that political world. In short, a spiritual advisor is someone outside of the religious apparatus of priesthood, pomp and circumstance, any of those sorts of things, but people still crave that natural instinct for a connection with the divine. They may understand there is a God, but not really um, understand the way to be closer to that force outside themselves that is grander than them. Now, why would anyone need the a political scientist, spiritual advisor? Well, <laughs> the world's on fire. <laughs> we all kind of are not very nice to each other, and that's just the beginning of the problems, not to mention the lack of morality, especially in, like, their, you know. And it's... um. It's a special skill that I have because I have a degree in political science. I'm a veteran and I know the system in and out and I have like a bureaucrat mind. I'm also a talk show host. I'm not trying to sell myself like that, but I have to paint the full picture of what a political scientist, spiritual advisor is. Basically what this means is people will come to me a lot of times to talk or just, um, I also do psychic readings that if just check out any of my <clears throat> channel going any further back, like that's been a, a whole thing, my whole life, a whole gift. And the people that do book a session with me are sometimes there for just psychic greetings, but a lot of times it is to um, sort of figure out what they're going on and have someone listen to them that's not judging them. And I do, I am educated on a, a lot of different um, religions and different philosophies. And that's why I have all the philosophy lessons up because a lot of times there is wisdom that people just need to hear at that certain time delivered from that certain person that certain knowledge and in short that is what a spiritual advisor is it's not to take the place of a therapist although um, several clients have come to me because they were traditional therapy did not work for them or they had you know bad experiences with that or even then therapists can fire clients <laughs> just so you know then they come see me <laughs> but that's okay I love them anyway and the um that's I hope I've explained some of this I also have um I used to have a crystal store which has now turned into a mobile business so I go to people's houses and do crystal parties and if you've seen any bits of my channels, not to do any name dropping, but I'm kind of like the crystal lady to the stars in Nashville, Middle Tennessee here. And that's uh, hopefully, I think, well, my dream. <clears throat> and there's an article, I guess I'll link it here, but is to find other teachers like myself that can help other people. And what I mean by that is I can't do it alone. And by having the store, I did find a lot of very cool people and a lot of cool teachers and it's getting there. It's just like anything else. Sometimes you got to restructure and figure things out, tie up loose ends. And comment if you got more questions or reach out to me all my info's out there 
um, as far as how I operate with um, seeing clients and stuff. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a blessed day. And it's going to be okay. Didn't mean to rhyme. I just want you to know how special you are because of all the places you could be and all the things you could be watching right now. You chose to be here with me and that makes you so special. Thank you. Have a good day.